Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is the one and only Optibotamus coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Cogman for the package. Uh, much like all these new Studio Series figures, you have the nice Transformers text with the Generation logo. You can see that this is a figure from the Transformers Last Night film. Got that open window that fully showcases them. Got an image of them there in the front. Got another image of them on the side. Got another image of them on the other side. When you come around to the back of the package, you got images of him in his uh, robot as well as his vehicle mode. You can see this is an officially lightened Aston Martin vehicle. And of course, being part of the Studio Series, he comes with a back Drop, which is featuring the London Escape. There's a couple other uh, figures down here, that being uh, the Deluxe Class Shatter as well as the Deluxe Class Scrap Metal. And then you get... <laughs> <laughs> get a little bit of a read up right here that says while speeding through the streets of London Cogman remembers to tell Sir Edmund Burton that Agnes called for a snuggle yeah a snuggle because you know gotta get the snuggies on but, <laughs> but for the packaging on this guy that's about it so without further ado let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is all right, guys, so here we have Cogman opened up out of his packaging and obviously in his vehicle mode. And starting off first, uh, as always, here we have the nice backdrop. You can see it is that uh, chase scene. We've got a bunch of cars flipping over and being destroyed and stuff. And, and you know, it's what it is. Uh, Studio Series number 39. You got Transformers last night right there. You can put him on there if you want. So get that out of here and drop him off to the side. Uh, but... This guy really does look good. Uh, there's a very premium quality to this paint job. I mean, I know it's Studio Series, and we're going with you know movie accurate designs and look, and this definitely has it. Uh, just bringing in the original one right away, um, huge difference here. I mean, you can see this is just a gray plastic. This has a gorgeous silver plastic on there. I mean, this. Didn't look bad, uh, and it still doesn't look bad. I mean, robot mode looks really good with the paint details and everything, but there was, like, hardly anything here in vehicle mode, and it really gave it a very toy sort of look. This looks amazing. The silver on here is just absolutely gorgeous. One thing that I will say, though, is that it does, when you look at the plastic compared to the uh, silver, uh, the lines show up a lot more on the uh, new studio series one than the original one did i mean you can see you can still see the lines but this because uh there's a blackness underneath it uh, it looks a lot more noticeable uh, you can see the tires uh have a silver paint on there there's a little bit more in the hubcap area than what the original had um doesn't really matter to me that much spinning around here in the back you got paint for the uh, tail lights you can see Instead of uh, like this piece right here, which was black, that's uh, now done in this dark gray. One of the big differences that you're noticing is also the roof. Uh, this has that nice silver paint on there. This has that black, which that always kind of looked weird. I was never a big fan of that, but that looks gorgeous. Uh, come around to the front, and instead of just the bottom section being painted, the actual kind of grill area right here is now also painted, which again, looks really very very nice really loving what they did with the paint uh, now it is the exact same figure so not really much changes uh, taking a look at the accessories they still store in the same place uh, the new one here has a black color for the handle but also you can see it has that nice silver like the rest of the car has so again much improved looking. Uh, the bottom like I said the handle and everything really doesn't change too much that's basically the exact same but Still gorgeous. I, I still also love coming in and see if I can get in there. I really love that molding in detail. And I wish I could get like a prop replica of this sort. I have several prop replicas. Many of you that uh, have followed me for a while know that I like sword prop replicas and things. And I have several from like Lord of the Rings, uh, Wonder Woman, things like that. I would love one of this. It's really cool. Uh, does still open like the uh, previous. And you can put... Uh, the headmaster guy in there, uh, there, there were, was speculation whether or not that actually turned out to be real or anything is another story. Uh, that there was a deleted scene in the movie where Cogman became the headmaster of Nitro Zeus. Um, again, it was a rumored uh, deleted scene. I don't know if that actually 
you know, I don't know where people got that from, but they had this figure as being a, a headmaster. And you can see that this is actually also kind of how Cogman looks, but a much more smaller ver version, obviously like human size. Basically the same mold uh, paint job though, does look a lot darker, looks a lot nicer, I think. Uh, you can transform them by flipping around the head, just like so. And then when you look at that, uh, again, really not much different. I mean, basically it has all the same paint details that the previous one did. You get some nice accents with some gold. You got the blue for the eyes. Uh, the biggest difference is just the uh, surrounding that plastic is a lot darker of a color, which uh, ultimately I think looks better. Uh, I, I don't, I'm trying to remember, it was kind of dark in color, but uh, this looks really very good. The detail on these were always really very impressive. Uh, I, I was always really, really happy with this figure. Um, just, we're, we're getting, uh, a, in my opinion, uh, a better painted version of him. Uh, now the transformation is exactly the same. So most of you know I'm not going to uh, sit and focus on the transformation. I am going to go ahead and skip it just because we've seen it on my channel before. Uh, you've seen it on other people's channels before. There's no need to cover it. None of the transformation stuff changes. So utilizing some good old-fashioned movie magic to looking like this. And there is some good and bad about this figure. Uh, the good First off uh, is the paint job. Uh, they've really improved things. Now, this looks really good because, as you can see, like in the chest area, the shins, uh, the upper part of the arms, you've got a really nice dry brush on there, which really does pull out some cool-looking details. But the overall darker color of a lot of the plastic on here, like in the thighs, the shoulders, the abdomen area, really do help pull out a lot more detail. I mean, like, especially, like, look at the torso there. I mean, that looks amazing. That really does pull a lot. Lot of those details out when you look at the arms uh, you got that nice silver paint on there uh, same thing with the lower portion of the legs so it's not that uh, he's got more paint or less paint than this guy it's just different paint so instead of the dry brushing they put more silver and everything on here instead of the gold they got some darker plastic and everything so uh, it's it's a nice balance I suppose but what this figure does lack is some tightness in some joints I mean, you can see this is fairly loose i mean that stayed up there fine this not very good the head is a lot looser kind of has a little bit of a bobbly head sort of thing this one really didn't uh the thighs uh are a little bit looser when you're rotating them um, but the biggest thing is I'm noticing like the arms especially like these shoulder panels and everything I mean you can flare those out you can you know pose this guy however you want uh, and also like a little bit looser than a ball joint uh, some of that stuff I can fix I don't know necessarily how I can fix that thigh rotation I, mean, I guess it's just like a mushroom peg in there but it, um, I don't know that that does bother me I'm not gonna knock anything off because uh, it's an individual's tolerances may vary type of thing but I do like the tightness of this a lot more uh, the ball joint yeah I mean just it just overall feels uh, like a, a a tighter figure um, and I don't know why I mean this guy came out two years ago uh, this one's new obviously but they didn't really do anything uh, in terms of like repaints or anything so I don't understand why he would be suffering from like mold degradation or anything like that uh, it's just a much looser figure uh, first articulation though it is the exact same you got a head that uh, utilizes the uh, ball joint of the small headmaster you can do that got a little hinge right here kind of as part of the transformation but you got a ball joint there forward and back you can bend here at the elbow rotate at the elbow I guess you can well you can't I mean when that said you have wrist articulation that can go like that so you can hold the sword a little bit better uh, nothing at the waist that's all locked into place the hips are on ball joints in out for and back he rotates just above the knee it's got a nice bend here at the knee itself uh, no uh, ankle tilt or anything and I guess you could say that uh, you can have him doing a Abbey Road oh no he's gonna fall do a little Beatles uh, tribute with Abbey Road have him walking across the street well, then it's not even gonna work all that good uh, so uh, I mean I can fix all these joints so that's the biggest problem I would say with him overall uh, he does look really very very good uh, I, I again I was not 
too terribly sure how he was going to feel about this guy because it's Cogman. Um, he was actually kind of a fun part in the in the movie, uh, in a movie that didn't have a lot of really good fun part. I mean, it's it, it was you know it is what it is. It's it's one of the Michael Bay movies, right? So uh, in general, he came out pretty darn good. And one thing that I really do appreciate is that the original release of this guy. He was hard to find, so it's cool that they repainted him and decided to uh, put him out there again for people that may have missed out on him uh, the first time. That's definitely something that I give them props for, uh, utilizing this Studio Series line to bring out this figure again in a more mass retail setting so that everybody can get him because he's a cool toy uh, I mean, vehicle mode looks absolutely amazing transformation is fairly simple doesn't really do anything earth shattering uh, but it comes together for a robot mode that looks gorgeous granted he never transformed into a car in the movie but it's cool that they use the car that he drove in in the movie and then he's a headmaster so you get a little version of it so uh, the play value is there in general, I think that they did a really good job with them. Like I said, I just wish that it wasn't hard to get them the first time around. But they're rectifying that with this new Studio Series release. So, uh, if you got this guy, I don't really think that you need to replace him. He's a good figure and he looks good on his own. Uh, if you want to update your figure and get a more you know, movie accurate representation, this is definitely one that I would consider. All right, if you didn't get him at all, don't worry about not getting this guy now because we have this one. Either way, it's a win-win. Both are great figures. Whichever one you choose to go with, go for it. So all that being said, if this version of Cogman is a figure that you'd like to add to your collection, he is hitting various retail locations right now. So if you're looking for him, good luck and happy hunting. Or as always, just places such as Big Bad Toy Store. For that, I'll put a link down in the video description where you'll go to BBTS and you can check out availability on this guy as well as the rest of the wide range of Transformer figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate your support, guys, simply by hitting that little thumbs up button. That one small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out and I would really appreciate it. And a huge thank you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. Also, I want to send a huge shout out to all of my patrons, who through their continued support, now more than ever, help to make reviews like this possible. And finally, remember, grow wise, grow strong, but never grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.